Greetings to all Tank Drum lovers, especially to those who prefer exclusive and brand new models. In this video, I'm actually going to show you a new double side tank drum and come up with more things to tell you as I tend to improvise a lot. This particular instrument is a customized one. A client wanted his tank drum to have two modes, in other words, two tuning modes. Mystical Insomnia, which is quite a popular tank drum tuning, a B minor insomnia mode. And an F sharp major tuning. The client distinguished it from the other tuning variations we had and decided to combine it with insomnia. However, as a double side tank drum is peculiar in terms of tuning match, we had to tinker with it a little and modify some things. In a nutshell, insomnia tuning has been modified. It still sounds like a normal insomnia, but differs a bit as well. Anyway, the general mood remains the same. The F sharp major tuning has undergone similar changes. We've changed the scale. Now it's not F sharp major anymore. But the enchanting and light mood is actually present. How does it happen? I usually listen to a selected tuning, hear melodic motions and modulations, and try to figure out what the client could be touched by and why they want to get exactly this tuning. So, when making a double side tank drum, I think how to match tuning modes, what kind of tuning I need to come up with to reflect the appropriate mood and complement the other mode at the same time. That's it. And then it results in such compelling things. <laughs> Basically, that's all I wanted you to know about this particular tank drum. Now I'm going to play it a bit and listen to its sound. I'm unsureful. got the mood, haven't you? Pretty curious. You know, I'd like to reveal a few secrets regarding tune creation. Yeah, there's kind of improvisation and the tank drum is apparently made for such a purpose. However, over the years of constant practice, I've elicited some beats I generally use. They are quite simple. For instance, I'm about to come up with a tune is it a nice camera angle, actually, or will a hangle position do better? Ok, let's deal with the technique I'm gonna show and test on both tank drum sides. For clarity, let's divide the tank drum into two parts. You can actually do it either vertically or horizontally, it's not really a big deal. Well, let the division be vertical. Here are some tons on the right, and some others on the left. There are also two natural tones, the central ones. I start playing the right part and then smoothly move on to the left one. I play each of them for the equal amount of time in seconds. If you prefer a bar line explanation, you can play two or four bars on the right and then two or four more on the left. Mind that your tune parts must be of the same length. 
закуски. Just like that. Now that when playing the right part, I stress this note. Look. And that note on the left. When the tune is being developed, it should sound natural. Let's see how I develop it. I'm gonna play approximately the same tune, having the same accents, and then I'm gonna modify it a little. That's how it goes. I added other notes quite chaotically. My fingers actually remember a certain sequence of movements. The main thing is that when playing this part, I suddenly added these two notes and then returned to the note that was subject to sound according to my pattern. I obviously stress this note, but instead of playing it here, I play it after the two notes mentioned above. You can also use other variations. In this case, I should also return to this note. I have to, like, come back here every time while playing on the left. That was my previous pattern. And now I just make it a bit more complicated. I also keep the same structure and return to the first part again. Now let me try to develop this tune further on. I'm gonna play rather chaotically as well, alter the tempo, hit harder and so on, but again, stick to the same accents to make my brain remember the beat and accenting notes sounding at a particular moment. As soon as you hear the highlighted accents, your brain recognizes them, finds them familiar. That's how I perceive it. So, let's try. I failed to get much further. Let me try to come up with a third part of my tune having the same sounds but from the very beginning. No, not even like that. I'm gonna play the same notes of the same pattern but in a different tempo to see how the tune will change. That's an exercise. Earlier I played the same notes in a different tempo. I played them too, but the tempo was different and the tune sounded in a new way. Let's see if I can come up with something else.
I want to add some kind of fingering. A long repeating beat of a selected note. I like the way it sounds. It can add some amplification to your tune. By the way, the majority of beginners try to hit several tones at a time when playing, but it's not a good idea. As all the notes blend and flow together, try to avoid it. To express your inner beat, it's enough to start your tune in a clear and concise way. Now let me turn my tank drum over and come up with something else on the second side. I divide it into two parts again and start playing on the left this time. I don't really know what I'm gonna play, but I will try to make a new tune be born. Alright, the pattern is quite clear, though more complicated than the previous one. The sense is that when playing a pattern on the left, I stress this note. I can beat any number of lower tones and then hit that one, or I can beat the equal number of them. If there was a click or even claps, they would count them. This note would tell with a clap and the other bangs would be made between claps. As for this part, I also choose a tone I beat with regular intervals and touch some other ones. I accent only one note again. Let's take a look at the whole tune. modified the tune again, but the accents remained the same. I've just played the continuation of my initial melody. The general mood is preserved. If we compare notes with people, imagine that there are three guys over there and three more here. These three people sing about something and have like a shootout, and those guys on the right respond to them. Moreover, their conversation is harmonious, so keep it in mind. Now let me play the same tune with sticks to show you that it works well too. I've even begun to develop my tune further on. I mean that after having played a piece like that, I enjoyed it and decided to repeat it even several times to make it part of the tune. We 
now like repeating beats and music. Of course, there are tunes without any repeating pieces, which also sound nice, but most tunes are actually well structurized and are like waves, repeating over and over again and thus touching us. We can then sing on tune to them. A tank drum lets you create and even construct such tunes yourself. Earlier I pointed out the division of the tank drum into two parts. You need it only for practice, it's definitely not an unbreakable rule. You can call this exercise like coming home, for instance. Imagine that there are two so-called homes right here, I mean, where this and that notes are located. When playing your tune, you need to come there regularly. So I've highlighted this issue several times so far. This exercise is enough to develop your skills and create musical pieces using only three tones that you can later involve in a longer tune. You can even start with pauses, look. But always mind the accents, they should be the same. Further on, you're going to increase the number of notes, develop the tune itself, enhance the volume, in other words, express yourself. So this piece... actually develops as follows. Okay, that was my example. As for the ways of tune developing, when you make it more abstract and alter the tempo, the pace and so on, I'll reveal the details later, as I'm still not quite aware of how it really happens. Our brain probably has a supply of rhythmic patterns and knows how to combine them. The brain also decides when to make a pause, after which you can suddenly speed up or slow down or even change the meter. So that's it, guys. I guess we can finish now.